Well, trauma, trauma, trauma. But the Cane Hill flight is definitely closed. It's locked, padlocked, so we're not going up. I said to my class, I think this boat is adrift. Got no money, I got no right. Think I got lost in your father's heart. So you've got your coffee? Huh? What's that, a cheeky piece of Kit Kat? It's coffee and a cheeky piece of Kit Kat. It's tandoori night tonight. It is, I'm looking forward to my tandoori chicken. You got room for tandoori and a small piece of Kit Kat as well. Yeah, definitely. Got all the wet weather gear on today. Uh, it's one of those drizzly, mizzly days, as Michael said. Um, but we're keeping going. I bet when you booked this, you thought it would be sunny, didn't you? <laughs> we're just coming up to uh, the second of the aqueducts before Bradford on Avon, and um, I was at the, the tiller, and I think. I said to my class, I said, I think this boat is adrift in the canal, and I think it is, it's bow, yeah, I can see it's bow line, um, at, oh, it's right across the canal here, um, so I think a cyclist has just stopped, and I've got a sneaky feeling somebody could just trying to pull it back in again, if not, we're going to have to moor and try and get it back alongside and tie it up in some way, that's a bit of a hazard. Yep, it's definitely adrift. We're going to try and gently nudge it back in if we can and I'll see if I can get onto it some way and get that bow line and throw it to the lady who's there, the cyclist. It has gone back in again. So we've come alongside this boat now and um, we've just transferred Jack onto the um, onto the boat at its, its bow and um, Jack's got hold of the ropes now. Just going to try and drive a pin back in. There you go. Fortunately, there's nothing coming. Um, as you can see, further up the canal, there's nothing there. I'm just going to have to try and drive its pin in again. The problem is, it's been raining, and if the boat's been there some time, well, the pin's bent. drifting as you can see. It's going to go um, do the same to the stern pin. It would be raining wouldn't it? Good deep for the day done. We're here, we've made it to the queue. We're 2073 and 2074 in the queue, which we don't think is bad. Um, so, just going to get a much deserved coffee. Morning, coffee in hand, breakfast had, 
um, Wimbledon yesterday, fantastic, uh, but we're both shattered. Um, getting up at quarter to six in the morning doesn't really work. <laughs> Back to the boat, we go. We got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. We got everything here, at least to stay alive. Just seen a cottage with um, a flag flying above it. There's three legs of man, um, and the cottage was called Glen Cottage. Um, very interesting. I wonder what the history is there, and whether they've lived in the Isle of Man or not. Um, I used to live in the Isle of Man, well, we did when we were children for about nine years, um, so I've got very fond memories of it indeed. Very fond memories. So there's a swan on the towpath. Um, not long ago, we were in Leicestershire and Jack got um, set about by two swans on the towpath. So I'm hoping that this one is all right. He's cleaning himself. Ooh, no, 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 calm, calm. Jack's coming through, come on. Ooh, scary. See, all's well in the world. Hopefully the campsite shop here has some milk and one or two other bits and bobs which we need. Um, I'm going to fill it into Lopers in. And this is where we are. Jack's just walking with purpose. She's straight in there, no messing. I know why, because they sell ice creams. I bet she comes out with an ice cream. Ah, uh, you see, I knew that would happen. You're going to give me a bit. What have you got? What I've is got, it? I've got a double caramel magnum. Mm, uh, my, is it fav my, my favourite. One cal. No, I'm not even going to look at what calories are <laughs> in there. Can you give me some? No. Come on, just let's have a no, little bit. No, it's all mine. No, no please. No, no. <laughs> I'm going to chase you. <laughs> Go on, a little bite, please. Oh, that was a big bite, mm. no. I seem to be making a habit of Magnum double caramel ice creams. Um, I think that's about my third or fourth. Definitely one of my favorites. So I've just come for a run and you don't realize when you uh, step back from the canal, there are hills around. Just been for a great run bit of road work and also a bit of um, fields and towpath really really good great little uh, great little run out not done loads of miles but it's just really good to chill calm um, and uh, helps with the uh, with the headspace as well so I really enjoyed that I'm gonna go back now shower and um, have some food home straight a little uphill to finish and we're done two moons tonight, one in the sky and one in the water. Well trauma, trauma, trauma. The, um, the Cane Hill fight, it appears, is open. We um, sat here yesterday and seemed um, thinking that, well, officially being told that the Cane flight was closed um, and that we couldn't get through so we thought we'd just hold off a couple of miles before the Cane Hill flight uh, where we'd got 
good use of facilities. We checked with a boater who's just come through and he says, oh no, it was open yesterday. What? We're setting off a bit earlier than we normally would this morning um, and uh, we'll see how far we get. It's worked out, we've got four locks to do before we get to the six locks before Cane Hill flight. So we'll see uh, what situation is. Maybe uh, we can have a stroll up there when we do the final six locks to see uh, if it's all open. Hopefully it is. Jack's having a conversation with the uh, lock keepers this morning. We've been having a discussion about scones or scones. Whether you're a scone or a scone person. And more importantly, whether it's jam on first or cream on first. For me, jam on first, then the cream. If all the lock keepers disagree, they're the opposite. Let us know in the comments what you think. There were two boats more opposite us at the pub last night. They went before us and the lock keeper said that um, basically a lady from one of the lock, one of the boats had fallen in the lock. Um, the boats were at the bottom of the lock waiting to come up. They were towards the back of the lock, which was really fortunate. She walked over the top lock gates and was coming back over them. She then stepped down from the lock gate onto the lock side. Uh, overbalanced and gone fallen into the lock all the way down the lock so the lock was empty she's fallen the full length of the lock the into the water so probably at least or the full depth of the lock nine, yeah. I don't know what the depth is let's say nine about nine foot yeah. she's fallen down she's missed both of the boats because they were towards the back of the lock uh, she's missed the sill which is um, stone, a stone sill which juts out from the lock gates. Said she wasn't particularly shocked when she went in. They then had to try and pull her out from one of the boats um, rather than her going down the side of the boat and going climbing up the ladder which would have been really really dangerous. Not that what happened wasn't really really dangerous. Anyway, fortunately she's all right. So um, lock closure update. We've just been told that the Cane Hill flight is definitely closed. It's locked, padlocked, so we're not going up. So we're moored after lock 27. This could be our home for a few days, um, but it also might not be. We've just had an email to uh, tell us that the locks look like they're going to be closed until Wednesday. So I'm just going to walk to the bottom lock and see if uh, there's anything on there. I, I suspect there's just going to be a padlock. Yeah, that looks like some sort of locking device to me. Here we go. You see that? Yeah, padlock. We're not going anywhere. So this is our mooring spot for the next, well, two days, definitely. Uh oh. Swan on towpath alert. Let's hope he doesn't make a lunge. If he makes a lunge, I hope it's for you and not for me. Looks like we're going to go for a change of scenery today. We figure that if it does open uh, tomorrow, we'll be first in the queue. So, uh, yeah, I think we're going to just move one lock and um, all there for the day. All all right? Really. And the pound looks all right? The pound looks fine, yeah. Okay. So we'll just move up into that and then we're in pole position for the open position. I saw you, I thought I lost my mind 